If you ever wanted to make a bobka at home but were a bit intimidated, then today's video is for you. And if you love this video, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. Hey, you're watching Preppy Kitchen, where I, John Cannell, teach you how to make delicious homemade dishes to share with your family and friends. This babka is gonna be everything. So let's get started. First off, I'm measuring out four and a half cups or 540 grams of all-purpose flour right into the bowl of my stand mixer. Ooh, okay, that was just a little bit too much. To the flour, I'm adding one packet of instant yeast. That's two and a quarter teaspoons if you're measuring it out some other way. Half a cup of sugar, that's 100 grams. Give it a quick whisk and set aside. We have some wet ingredients to deal with. To half a cup of room temperature milk, I'm adding four large room temperature eggs. In you go. This measuring cup looks a little small. I'm gonna give this a little whisk. Very, <laughs> it's too small. Now we're gonna add this to the dry mixture. Pop that bowl onto your mixer. Add a dough hook. Making a little well in the center. Kind of optional, but I like to do it anyways. Gonna pour that milk and egg mixture in. Get to mixing. And while that happens, I'm gonna add one and a half teaspoons of salt. This dough's gonna start coming together, and in the meantime, you're gonna want 10 tablespoons of room temperature butter. I cut it into tablespoons already because we're gonna add it a tablespoon at a time. Let your mixture run for about two minutes, and then we're gonna add the butter in. Just like when you're adding eggs, you're gonna wait for the butter to be incorporated before adding the next pat. Otherwise, you have like a big glom of butter, which is not what you want. You can take your time on this. My last pat of butter went in, and this is gonna need for about 10 minutes. You want it to be a silky, beautiful dough before it rests. So put a timer on, do some dishes, or hang out. If you've never had one before, a babka is a traditional Jewish Eastern European baked good that is amazing. It's like a chocolate cinnamon roll baked in a loaf pan, and when they are done right, they are so good. Let me know in the comments if there's a type of babka that you really love. Every once in a while, you can just open it up, take a look at your dough, and then scrape the bowls down. It'll help it mix together because that edge is really sticking to the bowl, so the center is mixing way more. There we go, look at this dough. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited. Right, keep on mixing. All right, it's been a little bit over 10 minutes. My machine's worked so hard, thank you for your service. And you can see now I have a silky dough and it's not really sticking to my fingers. It's very tacky, very slack, but it has that nice texture so I know it's gone through the proper knead. I'm adding a little bit of oil to my bowl and I'm gonna use my hands just to move it up because you want this bowl to be really not sticky at all. This dough is so wet, it'll just stick to anything. It'll stick to anything, I tells ya. Now we're gonna transfer this into our bowl, get all that delicious dough out, cover that dough up with a bonnet, say goodnight, pop it into the fridge, and we'll be right back. Towards the end of that dough's chill time, we're gonna make a delicious filling with chocolate, cream, butter, sugar, the works. So get eight ounces of a nice chocolate. I would just say not to use chocolate chips at this point because you're doing all this work. One of the main flavors is that chocolate filling, so have a, a nice chocolate on the inside. I also have half a cup of butter. I'm gonna give this a nice chop because it is ice cold and I want it to melt fairly quickly. Now for the chocolate, let's give it a nice chop. This chocolate is rock hard. <laughs> it's a cold day in the kitchen, it really makes a difference. Set that chocolate and butter aside. Grab a medium pot, thick walled if possible. We're gonna toss the butter in, add the cream, and get that onto the stove. Give it an occasional whisk just to make sure that butter is moving and a hooving. My mixture is bubbling up, so it's time to add the chocolate in, and it'll melt up pretty quick. I reduced the heat to medium low to low right now. Once the chocolate's all melted, take this off heat, add three quarters of a cup of powdered sugar, and one third of a cup of cocoa powder. Whisk that in, and then we're going to set this aside to cool so it's nice and thick. Right now it's too runny and hot. So this is supposed to chill for like an hour or so. We're gonna transfer this into a big pie dish so that it can have more surface area and chill in the fridge. And then we can go on to the next step. Get that all in there. Ooh, beautiful. This is going into the fridge to set up, then we're gonna get to assembly. 
My chocolate filling is cooled and it was in the freezer, so it's very cool. I've been hitting it with a heat gun and it's back to being pliable. Anyways, the dough is also chilled. And when I say chilled, I mean it is chill. <laughs> Look at this. Never have I ever seen like a block of dough so chilled before, except the last time I made babkas. We're gonna divide this into two batches because we can make two babkas with this. This goes back into the fridge. Now we're gonna grab some flour, hit that surface with it. Okay, this gets rolled into a rectangle that's maybe like 12 by 14 inches. And this is why you wanted the dough to be chilled because it's so much easier to roll and handle when it's chilled. Just keep moving it around. You can add a little bit more flour underneath as needed and you're gonna be good to go. Brian is like licking his chops on this one. He's like, where's that babka? Why isn't it ready yet? Just a little bit more rolling to go. Trim this up so it's nice and neat. I'm using a pizza cutter because that is the best way to do it, but you could use a knife too. And then we're gonna spread the filling. <laughs> How cool is that? <laughs> okay. Now let's pop on this filling. It's chilled, but really pliable, so it won't pull the dough too much. Just plop some on. We're gonna use half of the filling for half of the dough. We're gonna spread this into a thin and even layer that's going all the way to the edge, except for one of the short edges because that will be the way, that's how we seal it together. Part of the pleasures of a babka, besides that delicious taste, is seeing the beautiful finish at the edge after we cut and twist this. So I'm actually a little bit pleased that this got uh, really cool because that means it should cut cleaner. Uh, if, it, if the chocolate's kind of runny, you'll get messy edges. And as you know, my Virgo feelings don't like messy edges. Now we're gonna roll this up really nice and tight, starting with the short edge. Really appreciate all that chill time. So I'm rolling, 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 rolling. Now I have this edge that needs to get pinched in. So you can pinch it like that. Get a sharp knife. We're gonna cut this right down the middle. I'm gonna clean the knife off in between each cut because I do not like the mess. <laughs> now I'm going to cross it over, take one of the halves, place the other half over it, and now we're going to twist it up and then place it into the loaf for a second rise. I'm baking both babkas, but I only have one loaf tin, so the other one's in the fridge. You're gonna bake these at 350 for 35 to 40 minutes or so. The top will be golden brown and you can pop a skewer down into the center really easily and it'll come out clean. In you go. While the babka bakes, we're making a really simple glaze to top it up after it comes out of the oven. So one third of a cup of water, in you go, and one third of a cup of sugar. Give it a swirl and we're gonna pop this onto medium heat and just bring it to a boil. That looks good. As soon as your babka comes out of the oven, we're gonna brush it with that glaze and just give it a beautiful gloss and a really a little bit of extra shine. And then let this cool down for half an hour before you cut into it. It just smells like the best thing ever, so it's gonna be really hard to wait, but wait. Happiness is cutting into a babka. Look at these swirls of chocolate. Oh my gosh, it smells so good too. If you like this video, check out my bread playlist. That is the definition of a good time. It's the most indulgent, pillowy bread imaginable, filled with chocolate. You gotta make this. I'll see you in the next video.